Hi, uh, thanks for listening to this uh, virtual pod reading. And thanks so much to Charles and uh, David for uh, making this possible and doing all the work to, to get it online. Uh, I'm going to read uh, a few sections from a book in progress, A Ghost Snow Falls Through the Void, uh, Unwinding. Or, I'm sorry, Ghost Snow 2, Unwinding. And I'm going to read uh, five parts of a uh, sort of sub-poem in there that's dispersed throughout the manuscript. It's interspersed with lots of other kinds of things, which give it a slightly different feel, I think. But I'm going to go ahead and just read them all sequentially. Uh, they're a kind of writing through or riffing on an 8th century uh, Chinese uh, Chan Buddhist poem by Shito Shi Chen uh, that in our translation is called uh, Taking Part in the Gathering. The Taking Part in the Gathering. Uh, and I'm using a translation by the uh, Zen teachers, Joan Sutherland and, and John Tarrant. So here we go. One. The mind boggles, unwinding of the unthought premise begins the great unwinding, tracking as if unraveling, and like ergo a long way from purloining for use or exchange value, an Indian immortal in the fashionable common sense sense of the term, since it moves by wobbling, eruptions, crenellations and eruptions, not seamlessly sliding along between correction among earthquakes, tsunamis, tyrants, petty jealousies and petty chicanery. East and West, the epic of one degradation, as Emerson says somewhere, but not about East and West. But gosh, it's human nature and nature's nature to be shoved, tumbled, thrown, or rammed to the quick or dead while thinking you're watching from the proverbial sideline, seeing the slow rebarbative burn, turbocharged, grating muck and sludge dredged up, affectionate, haughty, electrical, and wanting, of course, to be helpful, but in the way, erg, all over again. But gosh... There are no viaducts, catches, steam engines, porter cars, steamboats, porters, Priuses, porter, llamas, llamas, no como te llamas, me llamo tene mucho gusto a conocerte, that can effectuate northern or southern escape hatches or routes. Carbon emissions hatch icebergs. Ancestors called to can't staunch the bloating, floated flood. Now can they? Okay then, mysterious darkness here, oh here. Two, maybe. Source of the bright, oh darkness, here, oh here. I think that is clear enough probably for government work and, oh boggled mind, clear enough for you. Fucking get used to it. The vocative's unstained object isn't one. No it, no thing, no there, there. Yet everything that is branches out of this no thing, no place, navel of the dream, dark well at the temple center, you said. Like quiet, Ivor. Images teeter, collapse, lapse to dark nothing, then burst into light. The bottle, the bottle, I give you the bottle, with no intercessor. The 10,000 things stream from that dark, thwap, like in a pneumatic tube, fall down in praise and blessing. Three. Trying again to make sense of things or else not to make sense of them exactly and surely not to control them, but glide along with things as if in the shifting currents rolling gently downstream is an image, is it not? Not comforting, but only words inscribed on water maybe, delusion plain and simple, or if not plain and not simple, but hanging on to recalcitrant things desperately by its intercession or tossing in the tumbling stream or raging torrent, and if you're lucky, not thrown roughly up onto the twig-strewn, branch-knotted, pebble-besotted, perforated and clotted shore and scraped and hanging barely bravely in the water or onto this image of water. It's absolute nonsense. It isn't a stream or very stream-like even, someone said. An enlightenment is just a word, someone said, which it is, yes, but either way we're lurching downstream toward the possibly tranquil bay or gargantuan death-dealing corpse-bedecked waterfall. So the mysterious problem or the situation is it or calamity, rigmarole, World War II bomber, casino, or truce is perhaps the source is hidden, someone said, of things as they are, gleaming. Four, the depthless, the depthless blue sky, bright cloud puffs and twigs of the Palo Verde scraping the wall, which is orange or maybe pink, 
So it's clear there's no problem, like they say, and after all, the world appears unstained as the recurrent image of the stream branches or flows into the image of trees scraping the light that will stream in waves from a hidden source to testify that joy seems to be inexorable, as Frank O'Hara said, or was it eternal anyway? He was foolish enough always to find it in wind, is an image or gust arising, erupting from the dark well at the center of the temple, is also an image, and Demigorgon said the deep truth is imageless, so we fear the streaming light, the sky, bright clouds, the branches scraping the orange wall right now, and everything rises up against us as if we could only perceive and cogitate, protest and flail our arms like an octopus, or freaked out Guan Yin, as if the sky and clouds are not the stream. But everything's interwoven, Shito said. Primordial dark streams into us and breathes in our bellies. Jones said it was one of Yunmen's more startling images at Mountain Cloud and not interwoven, Shito said. And I'm stamping my tiny foot to keep the thunder at bay when I see lightning because Shito says so on this side of the two-way mirror. Still, this shouldn't be happening. Flight 370 lost at sea, maybe not. Maybe the 165-foot-long tentacles of the Portuguese man of war, Richard Chamberlain with mouth agape, Donald J. Trump, Edward Forbes, Mrs. Appleyard, Maria Zakharova, Jian Yuan, Peter Weir, and Frank O'Hara, clouds and a shit stick dried, and the blowjob joke airplane doll pop-up while Ezra Pound keeps rolling or roiling, interweaving, reeling, and rocking as everything continues, goes totally wacko, a stream form of his Zen practice as merely unexpected occurrence, as Leslie said, and on and on. E.P. sucks up to Il Duce or sucks him off like a crocodile, laments poor yids who are sent to the slaughter because of kikes, it sounds kind of reasonable, doesn't it? Like the protocols of the elders of Zion, calls FDR an ambulatory dunghill, casually sprinkles the N-word about him, sees beetles swarming over Europe through his visionary condom, and while, but, wind is part of the process, black to die in captivity, night green of his pupil, undying, luminous, translucent. Yes, old has folded his blankets. So where the hell are we? Where each streams and commingles inextricable, the sky and the color of the sky, the air, the stumbling quiet of breathing, O'Hara said. And yes, we are, all, we are all for the captured time of our being, he said. Well, each thing stands in its own place, impossible not to despair, impossible to despair, and... Five, in the world of form, we differentiate substances and images. In the world of sound, a horrific cacophony of serpents and sewage pours out of the emperor's mouth. The stinking words sting, and yes, we distinguish music from noise, we say, but in the embrace of the dark, slime-drenched, it seems good words and bad words are the same, and the hashtag for shito is shit stains now. But still, in the embrace of the dark, good words and bad words are the same. In the bright morning light in mid-November chill, we divide trees from rocks, blue from the matte brown mountain looming up in front through cracks in which the soft dawn peaks like clear speech recalling us from confusion. The nation is destroyed, rivers and mountains remain. The four elements return to their natures for now, like a child to the mother, earth turns where to what? Fire ravages scorched swaths of coast, rushes inland, jumps highways, and the trade in big oil is hot. The winds blow embers into your neighbor's house and into your own house next time, maybe, and water is wet, the earth solid, yes, maybe so, while the eye sees form and phantasmagoria, the ear hears voices and chittering echoes now, stop it. The nose smells fragrance, the tongue tastes salt and sour, punctum. Everything that is, depending on your unrepentant tenderness, its root. Well, what is the source of no? Don't know. Spreads out its leaves, flowers lightly in this light wind, and burgeons, both falling and rising, sinking and still, nowhere right here, periplum and punctum. Roots and branches, yes, rage, squalid detritus. Set endless heartache to rest, waffle cones, wind, pumpkin pie, meth heads, kencho, pecan pie or pecan pie, affable dopers, my father in the long gray coat coming to my school, your grandmother died today, Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer, screeds, Beowulf, Rudy Giuliani, chicken fried steak, 
My mother, I made it to her bedside the evening before she died. The Toronto Blue Jays, Chick-fil-A, the Twin Towers pancaking down, the Cantos, Abu Zubaydah waterboarded 83 times at Guantanamo and also chucked into the stress position confinement box. The Toronto Maple Leafs, turned out it was just a mistake, never mind. The Toronto Raptors, Soviet jewelry, rapists and pedophiles, other assorted raptors, Rappuccini's daughter, George Steinbrunner, Rappuccini, Frank Perdue, Giavelli and the protagonist of The Birthmark, Last Summer's Faux Monsoon, Donald Trump's hair, Manjushri, Raid Kills Bugs Dead, Shoes Outside the Door, Reggie Jackson and Billy Martin, Dark Wind Over the Cliffs, Over the Pacific, Billy Holiday, One's a Born Liar and the Other's Convicted, I Tip My Hat as I Pass, Wine Dark Sea, Nothing to Leave Behind, Nothing to Take Away, Just One Body, It Takes a Tough Man to Make a Tender Chicken, The Enormous Freddie Laker Skytrain Circus Tent, You Waited in Line Three Days Flirting with Young Girls and Holding Each Other's Places, or Wandered Out to Restaurants or the WC, My Beautiful Dog Maggie Dead, <clears throat> Russian Easter Hocus Pocus in the Big Orthodox Church on 2nd Avenue, Irascible Iconic Spell Checker, Ogles, Christos Vas Kreis, the mouth-watering smell of searing steak wafting through the open sliding doors of the dojo on East 60 Whatever Street during very fast Rinzai Kenyon, zucchini carbonara, my, my beloved teacher Joan, Christos Vas Kreis, hold the bacon and eggs, televised roller derby, the Brooklyn Bombers were the bad girls, spell checker still, spell checker still cheesed off, the heartbreaking pathos of the peace and cantos, Rohatsu and FOH jacked off, their unrepentant horror, no, I mean the horror of their utter lack of repentance. Airsat's neighbor, homemade cannoli in Tucson, wrong filling. Old Ez on something street in the West Village, right near Sharon's method-inflected acting classes. Dostoevsky's meditation on Jesus dead in the tomb. Beats, an actor prepares, not expensive earphones. Julia Kristeva's meditation on Dostoevsky's meditation on Jesus dead in the tomb. A fully loaded Sonoran hot dog. Old Ez folded his blankets. Still something came right up out of the earth and opened his heart in the tent. The mind swings by a grass blade. The soft breeze, the light washed in light. The tower to the left of the tower, Quintanariche, seen through a pair of britches. The pangolin cult, undying, luminous, translucent, and what you depart from is not the way. Olive tree washed white in the wind. The deepest taboo again. Pangolin, keep forgetting Chardet, then walked back into the village in the morning light, having eaten the meat of the ritually killed taboo anteater to observe the normal dietary laws and all the other laws of the little village to live an ordinary life. The sunlight on her hand holding a fan in the marketplace, I forget what teacher that was, or maybe it was light shining somehow through her hand as if the hand were translucent. It wasn't a poet who invented Roach Motel, Startling dawn light waking space to define the big reincarnated trees, Nathan's of Coney Island, Katz's Delicatessen, the beautiful walk along the East River leaning down over the railing right over the water, roaches check in but they don't check out, boats, Alex Cat cut out of Alex Cat's cut out of Frank O'Hara. Why does the Hudson River flow south to the lower bay? And on and on and on and on and on. All things must return to their origin. And so do respectful and insulting words, inshallah. Shards. The darkness is inside the bright, lodged right in the belly and breath, intimate, nothing and no one, serene. But don't look only with the eyes of the dark. The brightness will strike you blind. If you move, it will break you into at the waist. Glinting rock, sharp joyous spines haloed in sun, rattlesnakes pissed off gunslinger whirr, dogs suddenly driven batshit by gargantuan javelina stink, wham of the suddenly yellow bloom Palo Verdes, mouthful of ex-hot hatch green chilies, is inside the dark. Damn.